Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Hillary from Wild About Orange and today we are ripping back the curtain on the glorious, glorious, glamorous uh, life of a uh, reseller. Um, today I am going to show you <laughs> my trunk of my car and my garage and um, what I look like most of the time because um, one we are in a pandemic but I am going to be sorting out a um, some commission work from a good friend who has given me her stuff and uh, we both know some of this stuff will go directly to Goodwill I won't be able to sell it I have not looked through it except for two bags I look through uh, I did already list a couple things um, because I was out and about and I thought, oh, I can, I had some time. So anyways, uh, so we will go through this. Um, I might have some music playing as I sort through or not, but also I just wanted to show you my garage because sometimes you don't get to see what's behind the curtain. So these are some auctions I've picked up and Right over there is the rest of the 15 boxes and a pond pump that my dad gave me to sell and some other items. But um, I really try not to put too much stuff in the garage. I try to get it done. And then this is my donation box. So I will put stuff in the donation box and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm gonna go through this first bag and it's items that I listed. And this, I think this is from her her daughter too, but it's a WD New York um, jacket, leather. Well, it's faux leather, faux animal print. So I listed that already. Um, this is fun. It's a kid's uh, pterodactyl wings. So these are all things I listed. Um, a pair of I decided to keep list Under Armour baseball kids baseball pants and then a um, Mad Gab so sometimes when I get commission work if it's if it's gonna be like this where she just where she just gave it all to me um, and then she knows I told her I said hey are you okay if I just give some stuff to uh, as a donation and she's fine with that. She trusts me, which is great. Um, but also, I thought, I have all the stuff in the car. I don't want to bring it all into the house. Let me sort it out first. So, oh, this is a, uh, a riding helmet. I will definitely keep that. And um, this bag has... Legos, bags of Legos. So I kind of lot, they're kind of already together and I um, lotted them at 200, 100 sort of thing. Uh, these are my hiking sticks. Okay, so since I sorted a little bit, I said I'm gonna go ahead and donate. So some little kids toys, um, a pretty beat up like pewter plate. Uh, the outside shower curtain. I'm going to go ahead and put those in the donation box. And then I'm thinking this is like a, it's a mirror. I don't know why it has, looks like it has a battery thing. But I think I'm going to go ahead and donate this. And um, this is a, a pretty frame. It's Hobby Lobby. It's a $30 frame. Um, I might just do this on uh, Facebook Marketplace because it's pretty heavy. So that'll be cute in some little girl's bedroom. So when you're um, starting out reselling, uh, just because it's a good deal doesn't always mean you should get it. Um, but think about shipping. Do you have that size box for that little premiere? It's just going to be a little bit inconvenient and probably cost more in shipping than the ac it's actually worth. Okay, so let's do this box. Let's see what's in here. Okay, it looks like party stuff for like a luau. Mm, probably not. Oh, this is good. Fun. 
plates. Um, Royal Staffordshire. Heirloom. Pretty red pattern. So that's a thinner plate. Looks like a little salad plate. One teacup. Cream or gravy. Maybe gravy. Full leather plate. Looks like there's another plate down there. Okay, also in here is a, um, a plate of the Taft Museum. I live in uh, Cincinnati, so definitely these sorts of things I will keep. <clears throat> okay, we have a nice um, Banana Republic leather jacket. Looks really nice. Full. We'll do a little clean up on that, it's a little bit of dirt. Okay, so for for games, what I've learned is this Balderdash game is probably worth nothing, right? But I think this was the um, Shed, maybe Shed Flips guy? I can't remember his name. But anyways, he takes his pieces, and I think the Virginia Picker. See, I like to watch YouTube so I can learn. Um, so I think it's a great idea to watch YouTube, but watching YouTube in lieu of, of actually listing items is not good. So anyways, um, take the pieces and you can sell them as replacement pieces instead of the whole box because it's pretty, uh, it's like $15. Maybe someone else has another idea. $15 to ship a game. I think priority if it's, you know, if it's over, um, over a pound. Balderdash. Oh, Cranium, which is a fun game. And then a uh, Trivial Pursuit. Yeah, I looked up uh, Trivial Pursuit, and you can sell the, what is it? The Wooji Wajis? Can't remember what they're called. I always want to say Ouija, and that's not it. Like a Ouija board. The what, whatever, the little circles, the pies with the pie pieces in there. You can sell those. So what you want to look for when you're sourcing on games is unique games. Like if that was Trivial Pursuit, Star Wars, Star Trek, I don't even know if they make that. But something more like that, um, definitely. Okay. Some little toy. I'll look it up, but most of the time plushes are not, not worth much. Okay, these are super cute. Some nice leather boots it says glove fit and Antonio Milani so definitely keeping those along with the leather jacket and then a, a taboo game some uh, kids shin guards they're kind of beat up so I will probably donate those said before on other videos what I do is 50 50 commission so they give me carte blanche to um, price the items at whatever I want unless there's something specific and they can tell me like I don't want to get less than like my dad he doesn't want to get less than 150 for his pond pump um, and then we split the sale um, and after after um, eBay or whatever platform takes takes their fees Okay, two cute little girls' gloves. I'll probably list those because gloves, leather gloves can be expensive. A Webkin, no idea if it's worth anything. I'll have to look it up. Same with this little guy, squeeze animals. I'm guessing he's probably not worth very much. Oh, goodness. Some sort of very old vintage book. Looks like, no idea. Organic materials, diphtheria, maybe a nursing book? Oh, there it is. 
The Library of Health. Let's see what it says. Let me open up to a random page. Ooh. Uh, the arteries. So, I will probably list this. It's really damaged, but wouldn't, now that I have it, wouldn't that be cool in a frame if you were decorating, you know, for something? I don't know. Very macabre. Okay. Let me focus. Crazy hat. Squid hat. Eh, we'll see. So, obviously, I haven't looked up pumps on any of this other stuff. Some hats. Some kids, um, baseball pants. So these are Easton, if they're in good condition, definitely. So there's one, two, three, four pairs of those. Um, I don't know what's this called, muckluck hat. So no, no name brand on it or anything. I'll look up comps. It's nice plaid. Nice, well made. Okay, we have a. Um, backpack but it has initials on it so that might not be so good nice well-made backpack garnet hill kids and yeah, I could do it but I don't know if some kid wants a backpack with that with someone else's initials on it okay looks like inside we have a bunch of little kid stuff um, okay this is a Stella and dot poof I will definitely resell that the uh, Stella Stella and Dot has a great resale value. Okay, what else do we have here? A uh, random canvas bag, I'll donate that. Okay, there's another Garnet Hill with the initials. Um, super cute pattern with the horses my daughter is younger would have loved that i'm still gonna keep it because i just want to look up the comps for that okay these are really nice girls like crossover bags there's two of them so pink and teal um i might just keep these because there's two and they're in really great condition and look those Little totes bag. Uh, I will probably donate that. Oh, that's pretty. Like an embroidered um, bag from someplace, maybe South American or Asian. I can't, not 100% sure. Starting to get cold. It snowed earlier today. Okay, these are really cool. <laughs> Vintage binoculars. They feel kind of, they look like they're brass. Oh, well, maybe they're copper. They actually have a patina to them. So they might be copper. They have a crappy plastic on here. It says Goldmont Parts. Okay. So I love it when antique stuff has uh, names on it. So it makes it so much easier to look up comps. We'll definitely be keeping these. Let's see. Oh. This is the same friend who had um, donated all those vintage magazines, so it looks like a James Taylor catalog, Jacqueline Kennedy, uh, 1999 Architectural Digest, eh, you never know. Here's some more of those dishes. Nineteen sixty one flagship Rotterdam. Farewell dinner on board Rotterdam Holland America line. Oh, that's cool. Someone would like that as a collector item. Ah, oh, pretty. Um, it's very heavy. Probably weighs easily close to three or four pounds. Glass etched base with seagulls and a. Um, Sailboat, a couple sailboats on there. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful and pretty and would be a pain in the butt to ship. Okay. Oh, look at that. 
It's stamped and printed. Very nice. Um, Japanese. Maybe I can look up that printing. It, it feels like it's it's um, terracotta and maybe should be outside, but uh, most likely hand painted. <laughs> Cute little cow, ceramic cow. Mm hmm. Maybe Hadley. I don't. I'm not familiar. Not my style. So, oh, it's a bank. I'm assuming it's a cow. Yeah, it's a cow. It's a little bank, so that's cute. Um, you'd never be able to get anything out of that, though. Look at this perspective. That's my finger. Maybe you couldn't even get a dime out of there. You'd have to break it. Some very pretty um, evening bags. Wallets. It says made in India. Little Asian makeup bag. Makeup. Jewelry bag, I mean. Um, One Nation under God. Ruth Ward Heflin Hostess inaugural prayer breakfast. Must probably be for some church. A pretty dancing lady with Asian, well it doesn't say Asian, I thought those were Asian lettering at first, it says made in China, but it looks like Royal Dalton's kind of stuff. It's obviously not, with the pretty um, roses on the bottom. Oh, tin cup. And then some, oh, that's great. Downton Abbey, um, uh, Blu-rays. So I'll lock those up. Four, three, two, and one. So seasons one through five, I think that's all of the seasons. Um, always check and make sure there, all the DVDs are in there, or Blu-rays. I did a, a friend's one. Oops, the whole, it wasn't the whole set of all the seasons, a few seasons, and there weren't some missing. So I refunded the guy, and he kept it, but I was like, nope. <laughs> also what's terrible is I had cleaned out that side of the garage. My daughter brought back her Christmas tree from her, um, from her apartment, because she didn't have any room. <laughs> so I was like, yay, honey, you can put your car back in the garage for winter. Uh, psych. Sorry, Bill. Okay, this looks like a bunch of kids' stuff. Uh, cute little elephant. He's going to be donated. Oh. There's another Garnet Hill. Um, but this has, it's really been in use. It's been used too much, so I will definitely donate that. It's cute. Such a cute pattern, so I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> That's cute. A little bag says zip it. That's donated. Garnet Hill um, lunch bag. It's going to be donated. It's hard when stuff is monogrammed, so that's a cute little bag. We'll keep that. Probably, maybe I'll lot those together. Here's a, another lunch bag. Yeah. It's just hard with the monogram. I think I'll donate that too. I do love that pattern though. And another. Um, lunch bag. Oh. Another horse one. I'm going to keep it. And a cute little cupcake guy. Bye bye. He's getting donated. More boxes. Oh. These are super cute. Um, Mickey. Mouse mini hats. I want them for myself. Definitely will clean those up and sell those. Old, old cuckoo clock. Let's see. 
old one. Oh, I'm gonna open it up later. See if it has any names or markings inside. Another Architect Architectural Digest, 1982. Oh, here's a couple more bags that fell out. Another little lunch bag, Garnet Hill. And this looks, oh, it's a pencil pouch. Garnet Hill Kids pencil pouch. I'll probably just donate those. Oh, and here's the pine cones for the cuckoo clock. Those are really heavy. Nice. Some Anne Klein um, suede and court wedgies. I'll keep those. Those are good. A scarf, silk scarf. I don't see any name on it. Let's see. Pretty. It has some snags and stains, so I will go ahead and donate those. Donate that. Singular. Package from home. Ah, Miller Brewing Company. Beer Stein, Norman Rockwell picture on it with some great um, etching. This is serious. American flag, it's pretty heavy. There you go. The camera keeps going out so I can't see when I'm filming. Um, second in a series of Collector Steins, Saturday Evening Post, and this numbered, cool. Like again, it's gonna be fun to ship. Okay, some copper candle candlesticks, and these go on the, um, like, it's not technically a sconce, right? It goes on the wall. Remind me of Beauty and the Beast. Something that would go in your castle. So if you have a castle, check it out. Okay, this kind of looks the same style as that um, piggy bank. Oh, it's the same person. Makes sense. I don't know who she is, uh, but it's definitely an ashtray. And it has a schooner, clipper, schooner. Sorry, Poppy. Don't know all my ships. Oh, very pretty. Can't tell exactly. A little pocket knife. It looks like ivory. I have to get out my uh, magnifying glass. Uh, if it's from Holland, it says. It looks a little, a little beat up, so you can't tell. And then a little tiny baby one. Uh, looks like ivory. So. Well, here is the Peace Day Resistance. Look at that. Just throw it in there. Uh, a Hermes tropical teacup. I love it. I'm going to leave this one out. I don't want that to get broken. How fabulous is that? I want to keep it for myself. Okay, no. I do like teacups though. Very cool. Okay, sorry. I didn't bring my phone out here or I could have uh, looked it up the comps. For that, I'll look it up and um, put a picture in the video. Okay, one more tub. Looks like a a Gap extra large wool tweed uh, men's overcoat. Okay, new with the tags. Uh, Darth Vader, Disney, Star Wars dog outfit. So I'll definitely keep that since it's got the tags. This looks like some Isaac Mizrahi uh, denim teal jeans. They're turned inside out. I'll check out the comps. Some woo! Uh, <laughs> Leather leggings. 
to look it up. It was uh, Moshimo, right? Is that how you say that? I don't know. It's Target brand. Um, Old Navy. I will probably just donate those. Um, Umbra Strum Rose Gold um, Shelf. I think Umbra is Ikea. has an Ikea feel to it. Might be from Target, too. Um, I have no idea what that is. What tag that is. But it's just a, uh, a shawl. I'll look it up. And then XXT Premium Denim. Don't know who that is. Okay, there's a lot of other resellers who have great lists of um, brands to look out for. I can't keep them all in my head, but I know some basic ones, and then um, I usually just look them up because I can't, I'm not gonna take a list of brands to look out for me with me in the sh when I go shopping. But just look up the comps, it's really the easiest way. Rockstar. Old Navy. These look uh, really uh, well, like they weren't worn, so definitely would list those. Um, stylus. I think that's J.C. Penney's. We'll, we'll look them up. These ones are pretty faded. These are Old Navy red ones. I'll just donate those. Let's see. Some more Old Navy. These have stars on them. I'm gonna donate those. And these are Old Navy um, teal cords. Eh, why not? You never know. Corduroy. Uh, an old Spider-Man backpack. I will probably just donate that. Oops. A random hat. Sorry, I'm going to donate that too. Okay, it says it's a sunlight. You know, I'll look it up. You never know, especially with being, everyone being at home and working from home. I might be encouraging to have that. Oh, this is a um, crib Crib sheet, a fitted crib sheet. <laughs> Hulk, Hulk mask, smash crash. I know I probably messed up that quote. My girls get on me all the time for messing up the quotes. That's donated. And last but not least, the ever popular night outfit, which will also be donated. So, thanks for um, watching this. I guess it's kind of like a commission video. Um, and uh, hopefully, I will sell some things and show you in another video what sold. And uh, if you like this video, please um, smash the like button, um, gently tap the subscribe button and the bell notification so every time that I do a new video uh, you can watch you know what your appetite with reseller news that's going on around the world or just in Cincinnati see you guys later have a great day choose bye